This exhibition is called From Street to Trench, A World War That Shapes a Region. So in 1914, when the war started, men joined up in their thousands, and particularly in Manchester. So on one day alone, on the 3rd of September 1914, over 2,000 men joined up in just one day. So it really shows how all of those people were really enthusiastic, they really wanted to join up. The men came from various backgrounds. The, some of the first recruits from Manchester were actually from sort of lower middle class backgrounds, so shopkeepers, warehousemen, etc. There were also battalions recruited from the universities and grammar schools, but as well as that, you would have had working class men. There's a story in this exhibition of a man called Frank Middleton, who was from this area, he was from Eccles, and he's written a, a note to his mother basically saying, I'm really sorry that I went off to war without saying goodbye, without telling you. What's really poignant about it is we know that he was later killed in the war, so it's, it's just a really sad story, but for me it really symbolises that initial enthusiasm. But obviously a lot of those people faced the realities of war and many didn't come home. Uh, there was a minority of people who didn't want to fight for whatever reason. Um, some of those people um, were persecuted, so they might be um, abused in the street, uh, they might receive a white feather, which was a symbol of cowardice. And later on in the war from 1916, those that refused to fight uh, actually had to face a tribunal and they might be classed as conscientious objectors. Some people were actually imprisoned because of their beliefs. So in a similar way to men, women responded to the call for help. Uh, whilst they couldn't actually fight in the military, they did all sorts of things to help out. So many women would have worked in munitions factories in this area. Uh, there were many local hospitals that needed nurses. Uh, even things like the land army, so on local farms going out towards the countryside in Greater Manchester, women would have been helping to farm there as well. So all walks of life women would have been seen and would have been active. It's estimated that there was over 70,000 men who left the area to go and fight during the First World War, so that's from the Manchester and Salford area, and about 20,000 of those didn't come home again. Life was never the same again, so they might have come back with injuries, whether that's psychological or physical. Um, family life might have been difficult. Certainly, I think their life would have been changed forever by the war.